another jump up in competition for Sean O'Malley fighting Cheeto Vera, Marlon Vera. I mean, yeah. Cheeto's coming off a loss in May, so it might not like jump out off the paper like O'Malley's jumping up in competition, but no, he is. Marlon Cheeto Vera is a legit fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Um the, the kid's going to get tested for sure. I'm going to so. I'm going to say it now. I think that this will be the fight of the night. We already know that Sean O'Malley is explosive. We know that he's got knockout power. We've seen it recently. Cheeto Vera very rarely wins a fight via decision. He almost always wins a fight via knockout or submission. I think if you mix that with O'Malley's explosiveness, I don't see this fight going three rounds, and I think it's going to be very exciting. Um. Yeah, I don't think it goes to distance. And I think O'Malley comes out on top. I think he knocks him out. He's really, really, really smooth um, with his stand-up, fluid with his punches. Uh, his footwork's incredible, and he's so fucking long. Um, and he knows how to use that range. So that's going to that's gonna be a problem. I'll, I think I agree. I think my official pick would be O'Malley. But like I said, I think it's going to be a great fight. Agreed. A fight that a fight that I'm excited for purely because I like the fighter is the Junior Dos Santos versus Jarzinho Rosenstrick fight. I like JDS. I've always been a fan of JDS. I think he's such a cool dude. I don't think he's gonna no, win. I don't think he's gonna win either. You know, he really it's... he went on this tear before he won the title when he beat Kane. He went on a long winning streak and he was just knocking dudes out and he was like, it was impressive. It was an impressive run. And then ever since he lost the title and Kane made him look unrecognizable in that fight when he beat the piss out of him. Yeah, he beat him back. So <clears throat> I'm looking up when he burst onto the scene, his first fight in the UFC was against Verdum at UFC 90. He beat him. Then he knocked out Stefan Stroop. Then he knocked out Krokop. Then he knocked out Gilbert Ivel. Then he knocked out Gonzaga. Then he beat Roy Nelson. Then he beat Carwin. Then he knocked out Cain Velasquez. Then he knocked out Frank Mo- uh, Frank Mir. Lost to Velasquez. Beat Hunt. Lost to Velasquez. Beat Miocic, which I remember watching yep. that fight. Yep, I remember. I remember watching that fight too, and I remember that being sort of the first real introduction to Stipe. Um, but yeah, JDS is basically won one, lost one, win two, lose yeah. two. Ever since he lost the title, he's coming off of two losses in a row. I I hate to say it because I like the guy, but I don't think he wins. And I don't know if he ever wins a fight again if he keeps going. And I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope he wins. Hope he gets back to championship form. And if you follow him on Instagram, he looks jacked for this fight yeah he yeah looks, i saw him on instagram he looks really lean he looks really jacked i mean maybe this is uh jds 2.0 and he's gonna start starting he's only dudes 30, again. yeah he's only 36 years old which you know heavyweights yeah. that's not that's not super old for a heavyweight no it's not stipe i think is 37 yeah daniel then, Cormier is 42 Two or forty one. Yeah. Yeah. So Rosenstruck is also coming off his first loss. He's ten and one. He just lost to Francis. If you remember, he yeah, in called 20 seconds. in twenty seconds. He got good douched by Francis in twenty seconds after 20 calling seconds. out Francis and wanting to fight him. Mm-hmm. So this is a big fight for both guys. JDS needs to get the career back on track. Rosenstruck needs to get back rolling again after a devastating knockout and get back up in the rankings where he needs to be. But official prediction is Rosenstreich. And if I'm mispronouncing that four separate ways, I'm sorry, but that's my prediction. Not just Jarzino. How about Jarzino? Is that, is that how you could say you can go that way too. There's a weird eye in there. You never really know. Rosenstreich. 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 Official prediction is Junior Dos Santos will lose on Saturday. Yeah, official prediction is Rosenstrick. Or official prediction is 
Junior Dos Santos's opponent. There we go. There we go. Hey. Which brings us to the main event of the evening. Stipe versus this DC3. This is the main event of the evening. Better watch out, Bruce Buffett. Fighting out of the red corner. Is that your official prediction? Whoever comes out of the red corner is the winner? Yes. I actually don't go out for, for UFC fights, but I think I'm going to go out next weekend to, to watch the UFC fight. Um, because I, I don't know why I like Daniel Cormier as much as I do. Because I think he's a little bit two-faced. You know? like. But, fuck. Why are you going out to watch it? Because you like Daniel Cormier? Ah, I just want to like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm in a good mood. Like, oh, yeah, no I understand. Like, let's go out. You I know? understand. I understand. I, I think Daniel Cormier is one of the best fighters ever. He's on the yes. pound for pound greatest of all time list. Mm-hmm. I, as I have previously previously stated on this podcast, I do believe that he fights dirty at mm-hmm. times. I do believe mm-hmm. he cheated on the scale that time with the towel. Mm-hmm. I do believe he defeated Stipe in their first fight via knockout after repeatedly poking him in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he was winning the second fight with Stipe pretty handily for 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 four rounds. Did he get finished in the fourth round? Mm -hmm. So I think he was beating Stipe pretty handily for three rounds before he got finished by Stipe really turning it on. Um, I think in this fight. They are fighting in a smaller sized octagon, which I think twenty five feet. Yeah, I think that helps DC's goal if he wants to wrestle more, which he's previously stated that he does want to wrestle more in this fight. I would like Stipe to win because, on top of I like Stipe better, I don't want DC to win. He's already said he's retiring after this fight, so that really jams up. Like you win a championship belt off the current champion and then retire, so now Stipe fights somebody else to be champion nah, again. Like, yeah, I I think that if like Ngannou's going to get the next, if Cormier wins, and also I just want to comment on this, I felt like that was some conflict-seeking bullshit on your part. <laughs> You're trying to bait me into an argument over Daniel Cormier's <laughs> fighting, and I'm not taking the bait, but that was some conflict-seeking <laughs> bullshit. Okay? I know how to wind you up. So, I Ngano gets the next shot, and I've thought about this too because, like, I just don't think it's right for you to turn around to give it to Stipe. Like, he just let make him fight somebody else. But then, like, what happens? Who who does Ngano fight? Does he fight the guy that he just starched in twenty seconds? If if yeah, uh, Rosinchek. See this is this uh, that's officially anyone keeping track at home. That's like the eighth different way we've pronounced that name. Uh, if if he beats Dos Santos, what like yeah? What I don't know. You're gonna Derek this, Lewis, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I think that this weekend is gonna obviously tell us a lot about heavyweight. That's like pretty obvious. The heavyweight titles on the line, but I I think Stipe is gonna win, and that's my official prediction. I think right now Stipe is the better fighter. I think that Daniel Cormier, maybe five years ago when he was more in his athletic prime, I think he would be the better fighter. But I think right now Stipe will beat DC. Stipe will win the trilogy with wins in the second and third fight. Stipe is my pick. Uh, I'm going to go with Cormier v. Decision. Um, I think a lot of people underestimate Stipe's wrestling, but... DC with, you know, his wrestling's on another level. Okay, State Cowboy, U.S. national team. Um, he's able Do you to... think DC's going to wrestle more in this fight? Oh, yeah, yeah. And if his cardio can hold up, like, through that, and he can really dictate it. Um, yeah. That's I, why I do have to give Daniel Cormier credit there. He might be 42 years old and have, like, the daddest bod in the world. Yeah, but my cardio. man's got a cardio tank. Yeah, he does not it's get wrestling. tired. It's that wrestling background. Um, yep. Yeah, so I my pick is DC. Um, I think he's going to win a decision, win the trilogy, ride off into the sunset. He's hinted towards that this might not be his retirement fight if he wins, but I think he's done after this. It's going to be a good fight, um, but Cormier. Okay, so my official predictions for the three fights we talked about, I think O'Malley wins. I think not Junior Dos Santos wins. And I think Stipe wins. Uh, agreed. I think that 
O'Malley wins. I think that Rosenstruck, Ro- Rosengardner, Garden Hoser. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised it took this long yeah. for a rookie of the year <laughs> reference to come out. Roto Rooter. Um, <laughs> and I think that Cormier wins. Okay. So check back with us. Let us know what you picked and how you bet and send us half the money. <laughs>